how did you handle all of those big, there's like some big explosions and shooting scenes and how much uh, training did you have to do for that? I mean, all, all of that, the, the, the physicality of it is, uh, that was all a first time for me. So all of, all of the effects and, you know, the, without ruining too much for the audience, the, the wind machines that go behind it and the, <laughs> you know, the, the stunt doubles who are being pulled by their harnesses, you know, 20 feet through the, through the air. Um, you just kind of get up and you have to rock it. You've got some amazing stunt coordinators on set to make sure that everything is done safely and, um, you know, your questions are answered so you feel confident when you're getting up and doing that. But it's also fun as an actor to, to have that amount of, you know, physical movement um, and demand in a show. And do you guys use body doubles or are you guys all doing that yourself? Um, for, for some of the trickier stuff, we, I have a, an incredible stunt double that I've worked with before. Um, some things that I just, you know, I'm, can't, well, they don't wouldn't confidently do. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some things you think, okay, I could probably jump off this subway platform by myself, but God forbid I broke an ankle, <laughs> what would happen That would really production? slow things down. It would, yeah, totally. It would be very annoying. <laughs> And speaking of, uh, you know, subway platform, you guys film in New York, and how has that experience been? It's a lot of fun. I it mean, is, yeah. it's it's really cool to get to shoot in some of these incredibly uh, familiar and iconic places, Times Square for one. Sure. Um, but we've shot we shot all over Manhattan, Brooklyn, um, Queens. Like we've we've kind of yeah. Bronx. We've, every, I mean, every, yeah, kind New York of all is borough. definitely a, yeah. a, another character in the show, which I think is really it's really fun. And we have this uh, an incredibly connected. Um, uh, producer on the show who got us some locations that I think have never been seen before on television um, just because so much red tape to get to them like we you know we shut down the first Avenue tunnel by the UN yeah. shot over there and just like <laughs> uh, to be able to do that for an afternoon is pretty awesome pretty as well. cool yeah, yeah. and you know, how much uh, practice do you have to do Jack to make these magic tricks um, actually work and and look convincing because I mean you're doing like you know, the card tricks and things like that. And th I would assume that would take some practice. It, it did. Um, it took some practice, definitely. Uh, I mean, for the first episode, I didn't have much time to to sort of start with, you know, Magic 101. So really, the, we focused on the tricks that were in the first episode. Um, and uh, I'm working with, I was working with Francis Minotti and David Kwong, who are two magicians who work on the show. And they really kind of guided me through it, explained the basics, explained the concepts, and then we focused on those tricks. But then we had about six months before we shot episode two. And really, that was just me sitting at home <laughs> with a deck of cards and some coins. Um, and a lot of books and DVDs and just trying to get to a place where I could at least understand um, how a magician would do something. And then, you know, after a few takes, uh, hopefully we got something that, uh, that, that more or less resembled what, what Cameron Black would, would be able to do on the first take. Well, I've enjoyed seeing some of them on social media, so that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's just well, a lot of practice. thank you guys so much. <laughs> thank you very thank much, you. Jennifer. Thanks so much. Yes. <laughs> Take care, and it's a great show, so um, congratulations. Thanks, Thanks. a bunch.